In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the basis of assets received by the corporation in a Section 351 transaction. So if you remember, a Section 351 transaction is where the transferors are transferring property to a corporation in exchange for the corporation's stock. And so it's going to defer recognition of any uh, built-in gains or losses on the property. And so what we want to know is when the corporation is receiving this property, what is the corporation's basis in the property? And basically it's going to be a carryover basis of the basis that the transferors have, but then it's, there's going to be a couple of adjustments. So let's get into an example and make it easier to understand. So let's say that that you own a ferris wheel and let's say that the cost of that ferris wheel and, and also the adjusted basis let's just say in this case they're the same thing is a hundred thousand dollars and the fair market value is nine hundred and seventy five thousand your friend your friend bozo the clown owns uh, all 20 shares of a corporation called seven flags amusement park and so what's going to happen is you're going to transfer you're going to transfer this this ferris wheel that you own to the corporation in exchange for 80 shares of stock in the corporation and then you're going to cut a couple of other things too you're going to get two thousand dollars cash and a thousand dollars of clown shoes and so this is going to be called boot and this is actually going to trigger a three thousand dollar gain and we've got another video on, on boot and the boot rule so if you don't understand how i got to that three thousand dollar gain don't worry about it but suffice it to say for right now that the transfer or let's say in this case you is going to be recognizing a three thousand dollar gain but what we want to know is we want to know for seven flags amusement park what is going to be the basis in the ferris wheel right because you got stock and now and, and you got a couple of other items too and but seven flags is receiving a ferris wheel so if seven flags were to go and sell that ferris wheel tomorrow we need to know what seven flags is adjusted basis is in the ferris wheel and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to start with your basis in the property that you transferred so you transferred the ferris wheel to the corporation so we say well what was your basis in the ferris wheel and we said in the example we said it was a hundred thousand so we'll just start with that hundred thousand but then we're going to have to make a couple of adjustments and the first adjustment is we're going to say okay did the transfer or in this case you recognize any gain and we determined that because of this boot property that there was a $3,000 gain that you recognized. And so that gain is going to be added. So we're going to take the 100,000 and then we're going to add the $3,000 gain that you recognize. So any gain that's recognized is, is going to get added and that's going to increase the corporation's basis in the asset. Now, we're also going to subtract any reductions for lost property. Now, lost property would be a situation, it doesn't apply here with the Ferris wheel, but let's say that the adjusted basis of the Ferris wheel had been 100000 and the fair market value was 25000 right? So in, in such a case, we'd say, oh, well, actually, the fair market value is lower than the adjusted basis, and so we call that low, uh, lost property. It's basically a built-in loss. And I'm going to make an entire video dealing with this exception and how to make reductions for lost property because it's, it's quite complicated. Uh, so, but it's, it doesn't apply in this example, so it's just going to be zero. But don't worry, we'll talk about it in more detail. So now what is the transferee corporation, that's seven flags, right? So seven flags is the corporation that you, you gave the, the Ferris wheel to. What is their basis in the property received? That is the Ferris wheel. So the basis, we just come here and we say, okay, we had 100,000 plus 3,000 and then zero for this lost property. It doesn't apply. So we have $103,000. So this is going to be the basis to the uh, to the corporation to seven flags in the ferris wheel so hypothetically let's say six months down the road or, or something like that that let's say that the corporation sells that let's say they sell the ferris wheel for five hundred and three thousand dollars so let's say that's the the selling price sp here and then you say okay well what's the gain or loss to the corporation well you would subtract the adjusted basis which we just calculated so $103,000. So if six months later they, they were to sell the Ferris wheel, the corporation would recognize a gain of $400,000.